while we sit here and wait and wait and wait for that MMORPG to fill the void that we all feel in our souls, having you make your 100th RuneScape account just to get to Fishing 10 and then quit again. Intrepid Studios is hard at work, progressing towards Alpha 2 and beyond. And although Alpha 2 is still many, many months away, we do get to have a fairly good idea of what we can expect when that Alpha finally goes live. Starting out right from the beginning, the character creator. Although still not a full thing, you can bet your hairless Nakuan pecs that we will see some sort of character creator, probably a bit more extensive than what we had seen in Alpha 1, along with all of the races to customize, except for maybe the Tolnar. It was originally said that the Tolnar would be in Alpha 2, but that was way back in like 2018. They also said that we would have the Ranger and the Fighter in Alpha 1. So yeah, I don't necessarily think we're going to see the Tolnar in Alpha 2, and I'd almost rather them hold off and have that be a big reveal closer to launch, even though I really want to see what this guy looks like. So at least 8 out of 9 of the races, every playable class archetype, but not the full 64 class system will be implemented, but you might get bits and pieces of that. With these classes, you can expect very different class skills than what we saw in Alpha 1. Alpha 1 gave us the bare bones of what these classes will be. As combat gets more fleshed out and Intrepid keeps working on it and they keep taking feedback, you'll start to see a more unique take on these guys. We may or may not get our first glimpse of the actual Ashes soundtrack. If you didn't know, the music they play now is just music that they've purchased the rights to to use in their videos, and it's not actually anything composed by Intrepid. Steven said a while back that it is a possibility to maybe hear some music from the game in Alpha 2, which is being worked on by composer Bear McCreary, whom has done the soundtracks for all sorts of big screen and small screen productions, such as Battlestar Galactica, God of War, The Walking Dead, dead, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and much, much more. So honestly, the soundtrack is in pretty good hand, and it will be great to finally be able to walk around the Dunir starting zone with some proper dwarf music. As you set out into the world to progress to level 35, which Steven leaked in the January livestream. Uh, oh, did I accidentally leak 35? Yeah, you did. Ah, uh, shoot. You will have about half of the entire world map to explore, being about 220 square kilometers. For scale, the Alpha 1 map was roughly 70 square kilometers, so about three times larger for Alpha 2. And although unconfirmed, I am willing to bet that we will see that lava biome that they've been showing in the concept art lately, as they tend to show concept for things that they're currently working on and implementing. Along with other biomes, we'll probably see the tropical zone a bit more reworked with more questing and more creatures and a more fleshed out zone and hopefully a lot of other biomes as well as for features well you can expect most of them Alpha 2 is supposed to give us the core systems of the game in place and functioning although maybe not all at once as it is a persistent alpha up through the betas so certain features may come online or offline throughout depending on what needs testing but we will see up to node stage 5 along with a full working caravan system naval content such as sailing ship and some naval combat we should also get to see live in server sieges working as they're meant to and not the instance ones that we got in alpha 1 along with freeholds the majority of the artisan classes meaning gathering processing crafting and a more in-depth questing experience than we had in alpha 1 as well along with a weather system which we got a glimpse of in the Unreal 5 reveal with that snowy mountain area with the snow coming down, and much, much more. So basically, Alpha 2 is going to be huge. Not the full game huge, but it will give you a very good picture of what Ashes of Creation is all about. In order to jump into the Alpha 2 testing though, you will need to drop a minimum of $250 with the Voyager pre-order pack, which is the cheapest pack granting Alpha 2 access. But if you aren't willing to pay for an unfinished game, then maybe you best wait it out and just subscribe here to see the videos of it when it finally opens up. There is currently no date for Alpha 2 or even a projected date, but if I had to guess, we would start to see it up towards the end of summer, beginning of fall of this year. But again, just a guess, I could be way off on this. Who really knows? Will you be jumping into Alpha 2? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. That account will also allow you to buy into Alpha 2 or various other cosmetic packs or betas, whatever you want, or buy nothing but you can still get on the forums with that account. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.